ready, set, go. It's time for the 11th annual Buffalo Marathon. It's been two years, so it is, we're kind of dusting off the cobwebs. Eh, that might be an undersell. More than 5,000 runners took part in the downtown Buffalo race to raise money for Kaleida Health. As of right now, we've raised about $140,000 for Kaleida in the Heart to Heart Fund, which is phenomenal. Uh, we have a food drive going on. They said that's going real well. I don't know how many totes we filled out, but the runners have been doing great. And then in addition to the Kaleida money and the food drive, our volunteers all do a grant program and we will give $1,000 for a water stop. We'll give away another 50 or $70,000. The first runner through the finish line was half marathon champion, Joe Whalen. I grabbed him fresh off the course. It was just Cargo, routine North at this Dakota. point. Like I'm, I'm actually going, uh, just, uh, I'm training for a grandma's marathon in a few weeks. Uh, so this was more of like a dress Indiana. rehearsal yeah. for like more of like a Super training fun. run than a race. Well, casual or not, Joe took home the first place medal. And speaking of medals, <laughs> ringing the personal record bell and getting his is Richard Bernstein. He's the fastest Buffalo native, placing fifth overall. Well, it was my first ever, so I, was a, uh, I just wanted to go one sub 120, and I got like a 119.25. One, uh, Landon Schoenberger was the youngest finisher we could find. He's only 17, and the sky's the limit. He's signing the board, too. It gives me a sense of momentum, I feel like, because I'm so young, and if I get past him, I feel really good, you know? And of course, we didn't forget about the oldest. At the ripe old age of 76, Dennis Sears even finished before the two-hour mark. I'm very fortunate, let's face it. <laughs> I'm 76 years old and I'm still out here. That's, I'm happy about it. So what do all these hardworking athletes have in common? It's a great event. It brings Buffalo together. At the finish line, Ryan Arbogast, 7 News Buffalo.